Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. How long are you supposed to keep your racket before you change your new one? How long do rackets last? Do they last forever? Stay tuned. All right, guys, so there are always rackets coming out. There are new versions coming out every two to three years. Um, you know, here's an example. We had vCore Pro, change into Percept. Um, new Prestigious just came out. I just got my Blackout 28. So there's always new rackets, you know, to entice you to get a newer version or a new racket but how long does an existing your existing racket last um, coach rob is here coach rob loves his pro staffs and he still uses one from i feel like eight years ago i, know, I think i'm being generous with that but um Gets the job done. Yes. And, and prior to me going to Selenko, um, I used my clashes for four years. And then before that, I used uh, my Wilson 4.4s, 95s, for literally 14 years. Wow. Uh, yeah. But I, I mean, I kept buying, you know, used versions of them because they kept cracking or they wore out. Um, so the question of the day is, you know, I see your pro staff is worn. It's not, it doesn't look cracked or fractured or any, you know, anything like that. It's worn out. Yeah. That it, nothing structurally broken with it. Um, how long? It's would, fine for teaching. Okay. But how long would you keep a racket like that? So, so my question to coach Rob before we started was if a student were to ask you, um, how long should I keep my racket for? Well, it depends on on age. You know, some when you have juniors, you know, a t they go from the 25, they're playing orange ball, then they go to the 26, they're doing green dot, you know, full size racket. Then they're you know getting older, so they're advancing. Mm -hmm. Their games are improving. They're going to need uh, a racket to kind of match their um, uh, level. Right, and then. As they hit, you know, high school, let's say, boom, you're, um, you know, you can use that for four to six years, give or take how you treat it and continue on with that. I have a student that um, has uh, blade, I don't even know, what, it's like since high school, he's now senior in college and he had two of them and now one's broken and now he's down to one racket and we've been telling him for the, probably the last four years, it's time to move on from your old blade and start trying the newer blades and then the new version wasn't didn't suit him and then he's like come away for the next one and then i kind of like that one so he's you know one of those that just can't pull the trigger but uh but why can't he pull the trigger what is his reasoning that's a good question we'd have to actually ask him that one i okay. think he just you know sometimes he can't always you know, now he's off in college. He's, no. It's hard to get to a shop where, hey, can I try the newest racket? Um, you know, they, as I told him, you can do it online. <laughs> they send it to exactly. you. But, uh, you know, he has other things in his life that probably have a rank a little bit higher. Uh, not if he's playing on a college team or on the club team. But, correct. But, but yeah, that he's not. So okay. So the priority isn't tennis for him. That's right. probably why. Um, I but feel, he plays two to three times a week. So I feel like of, we've tried to help him already. We, have. we tried to give him the new version of the blade. And what did he say? Um, he said he kind of liked it and he's thinking about it. But then by the time he's hemmed and hawed, now there's a new one coming out. Mm. So he's like, well, I'm going to wait to see if I like that one more and then get two of those okay. and scrap, you know, and start from there. The good thing about... But we do that every year, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm part of that process. Um, the good thing about a blade and his um, situation is that there is blades coming constantly so they're not actually going to discontinue that line right. you know for me 
that 4-4 hyper hammer in a 95, right? <laughs> they, they didn't make a new one. <laughs> you know, I had to get it from secondary markets and I had to keep buying them from secondary markets because nothing else on the real market uh, sufficed. It wasn't close to that racket stiffness, the head size, uh, you know, but and, and I understand if you're in that situation that you can't change or don't want to change until you find what would suit you. So, but in this situation, there's always going to be a blade, <laughs> there's, right? Literally, and for him, I feel like he should just get the next get, one out. <laughs> get two and and chuck the old and be ready to just play with these, and that'll last him quite a while. Well, that's part of what I. I, I I see as people's problems is, uh, or certain people's problems is that they get, they grow attached to the old racket. Right. And they don't want to relinquish it. Correct. Um, it's kind of like a security blanket. It, yep. It's hard to give it up. Um, and I totally get that. I totally get that. And how many years did you use that old one again? It was, <laughs> I want to say 16 years. Oh, geez. Um, to, I started with it in, shoot 99 wow and when did the burn come out the burn 100 was the one that i switched to and that had to be 20 shoot wow 16 so probably 16 years and then from there you went to the clash then i went to the clash then then i went to the uh the blackout uh blackout extended now blackout 28 but I'm usually not one of those people who um, switch rackets very often, you know, as, you know, 16 years, you know, it, it's part of your right arm at that point. Right. So, and I think that's where, wait, let me ask you one quick question about your guy. Um, is he ultra sensitive to things in general? Like, can A he- little bit. He, he uses NXT control. Um, he is, you know, sensitive on, he doesn't like the poly, he doesn't want anything too stiff on his arm. So he... And he's always, and it, like, so without... NXT control, 55 pounds. Never waver? Nope. Not even Not say, since I've known him. Oh, okay. So that's probably going on eight years. So he likes what he likes and he knows what he likes. That's part of why he doesn't want to switch then. Um, I get it. So it, when he... Well, I'm gonna say when. I'm gonna say if he moves on to when this last one that he has <laughs> breaks and he that, has to switch. I think he has to wait for that. I could. I, yeah. Or I'm gonna have to stop telling him he can borrow mine when he comes home. Or he can buy yours. Well. <laughs> <laughs> so he. So the old one has to break, and then he'll have to just move on. That's right. My guess with him. But unless he really loves this new one coming out and goes, oh, this is great. I love it. Get me too. Yeah. Which him and his friends, and me all hope that he kind of gets to that point. Okay. So I'm going to do a hypothetical with you, which may be an actual practice anytime, day or night, 24, 7, 365 with fast track tennis. Get your fast track tennis today and get 10% off with tennis spin. Link is below and get your tennis on the fast track. New student of yours, doesn't matter man or woman, um, coming back to tennis after 10 to 15 years, you know, we, we played in high school, we might have played as a young adult, we have a career, we had We have kids, and now I have time to play tennis with you. I buy a blackout um, today, and I go and start taking lessons from you and playing. Now, how long, in your opinion, before I replace my blackout? Uh, For that student, it may last them quite a while. They may not play that often. They may play once, twice a week. it depends, you know, male, female, depending on how much they're going through string. It depends on, um, you know, a lot of factors, but. On an average, what do you think? Two, three, four? Yeah. 
Yeah. Unless they're the person that has to have the latest and greatest and they get super hooked on tennis. They're like, ah, I want the next one that's out. Right. Money's not a problem. I'm getting the next one. Or they're like, hey, I'm on a budget. I'm going to keep this one. And, you know, I'm right. running with it. Got it. Every, every scenario is a little bit different, but. Right. So you've had all those scenarios happen then. Sure. Right. So new blackout comes out next year, I get a new one. Right. If, if I start playing more, I get a second one or a third one. Right. Or okay. your friend got one and they loved it and they're ranting and raving. And, oh, I got to try this new Wilson or I got to try the new Yonix or, oh, my friend said this. Mm -hmm. And I play just like them. I'm going to get it. Mm -hmm. um, so in your opinion, raggas don't really wear out, wear out unless you crack it. Yeah, unless you're stringing a lot and you're, you know, your, your tension is, uh, you're, you're, you're bending the frame more or less, mm -hmm. going in and out with your tension. Um, it's being, uh, played with at a high level, hitting a lot of balls mm -hmm. and you're playing all the time. At some point, you're, it's going to fatigue and. We'll see that beat up racket and, of yours. And it, and it may, the bumper guard starts to go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, you can't replace it. You know, all those things that, you know, lead to um, time to where it says it's time to change. I mean, this structurally is still sound. Um, what Coach Rob is talking about is when you string, the racket actually compresses one way and then compresses the other way. Uh, so it does soften up the frame. And then when you strike the ball, you know, thousands of times uh, whenever you play, it also softens up the frame. So if you get the same racket, I mean, this is easily eight, nine years, That's 10 old. years old, right? And, and you get the newer version of this today, it would feel like a different racket. I mean, the swing and the balance would all be the same. At impact, this will absorb. This will flex more. The new one will be firm and provide a little more stiffness, which means it'll provide a little bit more power. So that is the difference. Like if, if even one year, one year, if this was um, a year old and I get a new version of it, the new one will definitely launch the ball harder, give me more power. Uh, just because, like I always tell people, this racket, since you bought it, has had to hold, I mean, in my case, 55 pounds of tension um, and dropping since I bought it because it never ever gotten unstrung and rested before. So imagine if you had a 50 pound, five pound weight on your head for the rest of your life, <laughs> you'd compress. <laughs> okay. And get shorter. <laughs> right. So, and probably wear out just like a racket. All right. So it's time to sum it up. Let's sum it up with ProTech. All right. ProTech most durable watches. Illumination for 25 years. Go underwater with it, guys. 20% off for you guys. Link is below. Get your ProTech today. I got my orange. Coach Rob. Ooh. I love that black on black. All right. So the racket, I mean, I feel like if a racket isn't cracked, you can keep playing with it. Um, it just depends on your tolerance level. Right? Comfort, feel. Correct. Yeah. I feel like rackets are more comfortable after it's used and softer, right? Because it's... Uh, and then, but you can also argue that because it's softer, that there might be more vibration going through it too, because it's flexing more and, and kind of doing this thing. Yeah. After the ball releases, it's doing this more versus just, you know, like that, staying firm. There we go. But whatever your tolerance level, whatever your budget, there's a racket for you. And there's hopefully future rackets for you too. Coach Rob. Thank you so much sure. for analyzing the length of racket stays today. You got it. All right. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.